Hey everyone, this is a sample of a timing belt system on a small four-cylinder car engine. This is a 1991 Ford uh, Festiva, Fiesta, I don't know, some little small pop can anyways. Uh, so down at the bottom here we have the crankshaft sprocket uh, or crank gear if you will. Um, there's components removed here already. You can see for example that uh, there's supposed to be a pulley here. This is the water pump. There's a hose from the inlet side on the radiator. Um, and so there will be a pulley here and there'll be accessory, belt drive accessories around the outside. And, um, perhaps you can see the alternator over there. Anyways, crankshaft. And then this is your camshaft gear itself and you can see the toothed belt, okay? Um, and the tensioner on this one actually is, separate this is it right here okay and it's slotted on the back and it installs down in here and if you notice that the uh, there's a slot in the face of it here um, this thing actually does not self-adjust so it would actually have been a maintenance thing back on this car to take the covers off access this bolt um, it's supposed to have a spring in here um, there's a little pin right back there um, and so there's spring tension on this thing you basically loosen the bolt let the spring pull the tensioner in and then tighten it again to make up for the stretching of the belt as it ages um, this is not a nice convenient system at all um, and something that's easily forgotten about uh, which could lead obviously to belt failure or to belt skip which either way is catastrophic for your motor. Uh, timing wise, your motor will always have timing marks on it for the crankshaft and for the camshaft. So I'm gonna show you where those are. So you can see on the block right here, there's an arrow that's cast into the block. So that's the block timing mark. And then on the gear face itself, there is, ignore that colored piece of paint, uh, right, actually that's rust, never mind. Uh, right there, my screwdriver is sitting right into a hole. Okay, so when the crankshaft is timed correctly, that hole will be lined up with that mark. Okay, however, you have to remember that it's a four-stroke cycle engine, which means that the crankshaft turns twice for every single rotation of the camshaft. So not only do you have to have this mark lined up to that, but your number one piston has to be at top dead center. And so what's the number one piston? Well, on a four-cylinder engine, it's always the first one. So you take your spark plug out and you figure out when you're at top dead center. Okay, um, make sure that it's in the correct position. Um, and then you time your camshaft. And the camshaft timing marks are up front here. And so there's a line on the cam gear right here. And there is an arrow right here on the camshaft cover. And then there's another line right over here on the gear and you can see that there is also a little arrow cast into the side of the block up there okay so you've got two marks to make sure that your camshaft is lined up correctly uh, and when you replace a belt you have to be careful that when you add tension to the belt that the uh, camshaft and crankshaft don't rotate um, out of time okay um, you can sometimes get those marks lined up perfectly and then as you route the belt around the gears something turns something moves and you've lost timing anyways um, and when you replace a belt it's always important to hand crank your motor there is your uh, crank bolt crank pulley bolt that will have the harmonic balancer on the front of it um, take your spark plugs out so you're not fighting compression and turn the motor over carefully by hand with a breaker bar 
and listen and feel and you've really got to feel it okay don't maybe don't use the biggest breaker bar you've got um, because if you got a really big breaker bar you might not actually feel pistons hitting valves um, the point of hand cranking it is to feel for interference and if you detect interference then you stop rotating and you go back and you dismantle things and you double check okay let's have a look at the valve train pull this cover off And underneath, whoops, tripod's hitting things. Uh, you can see the rocker arms here, and the valve stem and springs there. And right down the middle, underneath all those little blocks, those are all removable bearing caps um, for the camshaft. Uh, the camshaft runs right through the middle of the motor. Okay, that's basically how this thing works.